Okay, today we're talking about installing a billet rod uh, on a Kohler Command V-Twin engine uh, into a stock piston. If you want to use a stock piston, stock pistons tend to break the ring lands if you use them for high RPM applications. If that's the case, you could use a stock rod for a stock RPM deal, but the billet rods to fit in that piston is uh, will not quite work without a little hand, hand work on it. You can tell this rod here is tapered on the ends here, and the piston is tapered the same way so it all lines up when you're done. Our billet rods are made for our, our billet pistons, our forged pistons, and they're not tapered like that, they're square. So what you'll have to do, and you see it won't go all the way in, it hits. What you'll have to do is uh, taper this rod down, uh, use a disc sander, die grinder, or anything you want, and just deburr the hole when you're done until it looks like that, and uh, it'll be fine because uh, the piston will break before the rod will. So if you ever want to use it like that, that's what you have to do. Now our, uh, our um, one cam kit or uh, crank kit we sell, like crank kit um, the C30P, they have the um, economy rods, and those are already machined to fit the stock pistons when you get them. So there's no machining in them, but just the, the billet rods are like that. So, And there you have it. Quick tech tip to get you to go in the right direction.